Fox 4 is learning more about a critical mistake FDOT says was human error as consultants taking soil samplings digging as deep as 15 feet hit that water and gas line at 2 30 Wednesday morning. The consulting agency had a permit to be in that particular area and section and then the markings were already there. So everything was done to the T. Um, human error sometimes these things just happen. We don't necessarily know who is at fault. That gas line is owned by Tico's People's Gas. It's a major artery serving 25,000 customers as far south as Collier County. And the liquid you see shooting out is water. Tico explaining the gas leak is pushing groundwater through that punctured line. They say natural gas isn't visible, but that's leaking too. But what we can say is that from a safety point, standpoint that's all we're concerned about is the community safety and then of course our employee safety as we first reported wednesday night consultants were out there for the first stage of a proposed project to widen busy state road 31 to six lanes this includes improving the 31 bridge all to keep up with traffic demand that just shows how many people are impacted by this road closure, which will stay shut down in both directions. That section of State Road 31 should be reopened by late Friday. And when I say late Friday, you know, that could be anywhere from 6 p.m. until about midnight. Now, an FDOT spokesperson also could not answer exactly why these consultants were digging so deep for these soil samples and how those samples are even part of the project. But she did say it was common practice at this point of the project study. At this juncture, because it's an incident and we have an investigation going on, uh, as a rule, FDOT is not necessarily going to identify who the consulting is because we don't want to implicate anyone, particularly until we know more about what happened and how it happened. All right, so Tico Gas is now installing a new pipe to bypass the damage. In a statement, Tico tells us there is no environmental concern as of now, despite the gas leak, and says that no one on that gas line has reported any loss of service or pressure here. But we do know, again, that road could be closed for another 24 hours.